What do you have against rhyming poems? Well, you know, the name of my latest book is The Rain in Portugal, which is supposed to indicate the absence of Spain. Um, so it's supposed to activate that rhyme in your head and then uh, dead end it. And uh, there's lots of words that rhyme with Spain, but not too many that rhyme with Portugal, except conjugal and punctual and some others. It's not against rhyme. I mean, I've been teaching English poetry in, at university level for many decades. So if I didn't like rhyme, I should have quit early and opened up a pet store in town or something. Uh, and also, even uh, I, I really enjoy contemporary formal poetry where clearly, um, you know, the formal poet will never let you down. You know, once he starts or she starts, uh, whose woods these are, I think I know, his house is in the village, though, that will continue. So there's a trust system that is established with rhyme and meter. The admission I have to make is that I'm not really a good rhymer. I'm just not good at it. I don't think in rhyme. And to write good rhyming, interesting rhyming poetry these days, because the obvious rhymes in English poetry have been exhausted, you need to be a very clever rhymer. You need to rhyme words that are not um, sort of like mother and father, like moon and June, but words like Portugal and ponytail that are clearly not exact rhymes, but are somehow related, like distant cousins. So I don't t I'm not an anti-rhyme. I don't take an anti-formal poetry stance. And I think the whole kind of pseudo-battle between free verse and formal poetry is a fake battle. It's like AM and FM. I mean, you can, you can have both.